that they're doing there is, is pretty amazing, actually. Yeah. I'm Bob Bishop, and I'm the Opus Dean of Engineering at Marquette University. I left the University of Texas at Austin to come to Marquette University because Marquette University is at the leading edge of engineering education. I came to Marquette University because of the vision of Dean Emeritus Stan Jaskelski to build a discovery learning complex. Discovery learning is hands-on learning. Taking an idea from concept to product, from design, build, test, and operate in as near uh, an environment as they would find in industry as we can simulate here in academia. The building itself is a teaching tool. It is part of the education. And so the building will be transparent in a lot of ways. It will be transparent physically in the sense there will be a lot of glass. So as you walk into the building, you'll be able to see all the way through the Discovery Learning Lab. It's also going to be transparent from another point of view, and that is that we, as you walk into the building, all the information about the health of the building will be displayed there. You'll be able to see temperatures, you'll be able to see the pressures uh, underneath the building, you'll be able to see the stresses, and strains, and the steel beams in the building because the building is instrumented. And this floor right here, the ground floor, is where a lot of the energy laboratories will be. We have a laboratory over there for small uh, engines, uh, studies on small engines, uh, but basically uh, research in, in secure and renewable energy will occur down on this floor right here. The elevators themselves will be open, so when you get into the elevator, you'll be able to see all the workings of the elevator, okay, as part of the idea of the building as a, as a learning tool. Engineering education is transforming. At Marquette University, you know, for over, over 100 years, we have pursued excellence in engineering education. And through this pursuit, we have really opened the doors to new possibilities for a better world. But as we move into the second century, it really is incumbent upon us to, to renew ourselves. In five or 10 years, I would like to be able to drive down Wisconsin at two o'clock on a Friday morning. And I would like to see a large number of students involved in discovery learning on the weekends, at night, you know, so that it's part of what they do each and every day. To me, that would be a good sign that, that we've been successful.